Hi, I'm Jose Cruz, and I'm the president of the Body Positivity Association of America. We have been inundated with emails and calls due to recently shared images of Lizzo's weight loss, with many of you concerned that if your fat hero Lizzo becomes skinny, it will be more difficult to justify your own obesity. We reached out to Lizzo's fat camp for comment, and while we can confirm that, unfortunately, she is losing weight, the reason, thankfully, has nothing to do with her health or image. You see, Lizzo has severe anxiety around Project 2025 and a potential Trump presidency, and the surrounding anxiety has caused her to completely lose her formidable appetite. The same has regrettably happened to me. You see, many people do not realize what Project 2025 will mean to America's over 100 million obese citizens. It is not hyperbolic in the least to say that conservatives want to control your bodies. Among the many problematic elements of Project 2025, no one seems to be talking about the oversized target being placed on the backs of the obese community. Some of the most concerning proposals of Project 2025 include an obesity tax for overweight people, weekly weigh-ins in your town or city's public square unless certain BMI levels are met, as well as planned soda and snacks shortages. Surely those bigots know that BMI isn't an accurate measurement of health. I can't say this strongly enough. Our body, our choice. They plan on revamping the Department of Health by installing that gym teacher that made you run in sixth grade as the new head. Truly scary time. Under Project 2025, you will no longer be allowed to complain that plane seats are too small if you're morbidly obese or request a seat belt extender. As well, they're going to make all you can eat buffets illegal. They'll also be putting Ozempic in the water supply, which is an assault on people that have made their unhealthy lifestyles their entire identity. Project 2025's authors have also proposed public executions of the Keebler Elves, Ronald McDonald, and Poppin' Fresh, broadcast on all major news stations on day one of a second Trump term. This type of dystopian nightmare cannot be allowed to happen. Ladies and gentlemen and other, make sure you get out and vote on November 5th to send a strong message that the only people that are going to kill us are ourselves.